Hey troops, George Smith here, back with another Lego Movie set review. And today we have the Super Secret Police Dropship. Set number 70815, ages 9 to 14, comes with 854 pieces and is still retailing for £70 or $80 if you're in the US. So, okay. Piece of pricing straight off the bat is, well, it, it, it's just great. It is incredible. And I've got to say, I have said in previous reviews that Le uh, Benny Spaceship is my favourite Lego movie set, but this one is a close second. This thing, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. I will say, though, it's different to how I expected it, just from, like, the box art and stuff like that. Saying that, though, it is still really, really awesome. And it does kind of remind me, someone actually left a comment, saying it reminds them of the Coruscant Police gunship. And now that I think about it, it kind of does. Um, a lot of the looks and just a general feel of it, and I will be comparing it later on in the video, assuming I actually remember. But yeah, so and I just want to say right now, if we got this with every Lego Star Wars set, Lego Star Wars set would be so much bigger. Like, it'd be incredible. Uh, now, of course, Lego Star Wars is one of the biggest Le Lego themes already, but like, if we got eight minifigures in the, a set this size, and if we got this good price to piece ratio, oh my gosh, Lego Star Wars fans would be so, so happy because we all know how Lego Star Wars is, but. It's all different, and you can't really compare them because of these various Lego things and all this company stuff. But anyway, so, hopefully this will not be as long as my Benny Space Review, but of course it is hard to tell as I'm making these, but even so. There are eight minifigures, and we're going to try and go through them all as quickly as possible, and then onto the set itself, which is awesome. As are all these police uh, sets from the Lego movie, I've got to say they are all awesome, and I want to review quite a few more to come. But anyway, so, okay, I think that's enough talking now, and I think it's time to actually get in to this awesome set. Alright, so starting off the figures, we have Emmett Braskowski, Braskowski, whatever, although it just, of course, just Emmett on the box. Really nothing to say here, uh, he's a pretty standard Emmett, I believe, I mean, I've only ever got like one, another one of these, so I can't really compare. But um, the facial expression is pretty standard, I believe, we have seen it before, probably, if we haven't, then it's cool, I guess. The printing and all that is exactly the same as Emmett's we've seen in the past, of course, as is the brick, uh, the piece of resistance. You see here, and I haven't actually showed it before, but I'll show it now. Uh, his hair piece is different, if you didn't already know. It's very sta- it's, it's like a standard, like, Han Solo hair piece. Except for the fact it has this kind of, I guess, kind of ponytail? Like, really mini thing, this, um, I don't know what it's called, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a hair stylist. But, um... You know, this this thing here to, I don't know, give a bit of added feature, I guess. There's nothing really that special there if you haven't already seen it before. It's very similar to like Han Solo's hair and the very standard hair we've seen in the past, except for the fact, of course, that it has that little thing. But really, there's very little to see here. He does have a double-sided face as other Emmets in the past. This, of course, is a scared face. He gets scared a lot in the film. <laughs> but yeah, really, and he does have back printing. Although there isn't really much to see here. And yeah, really, that's basically Emmett. Nothing really more to say about him. He's a pretty standard Emmett. I do like him, though. He's, he's a pretty cool minifigure. We're actually going to put him on the scared face this time, because he gets scared quite a lot in the film. Which is understandable, because I'd be scared in front of this. But anyway. Yeah, so that is Emmett Prakowski, or just Emmett, as he's referred to. And I think it's now to go on to one of the best minifigures and one of the best characters in the entire film. I'm Batman. Alright, so on to the next minifigure, here we have Batman! And I've got to say, they didn't really have to include it, they did include a lot of DC superheroes in the um, Lego movie. But I'm so glad Batman was one of the most main characters, because he, come on, he has to be the best DC character. I mean, my favourite superhero is still Iron Man, I'm sorry, I've got to say it, but when it comes to DC, Batman all the way. But of course, they did include quite a few DC superheroes, including Superman and the Green Lantern, and of course Wonder Woman and a bunch of others we um, I completely forget about. If you're wondering, the reason they didn't include Marvel superheroes in the Lego film is because Marvel, I believe, didn't give them the rights or something. I'm not 100% how it worked, which kind of annoyed me. I would have loved to see in DC and Marvel, who knows, maybe in uh, the Lego Movie 2, which is coming out in 2017, I believe. So, who knows. But anyway, so on to Batman. I believe we have seen him before, and of course, other Batman sets. Uh, by the way, just to point out, I've dropped on the floor right now, but he does come with a Batarang. In actual fact, it comes with two Batarangs, but the instructions 
only say to give him one. I assume then another one is just spare, hence why I gave him two. I felt no reason to keep his bear, just, you know, give him another one. Uh, so, yeah, I gave him two Batarangs. This is the black version of uh, Batman. You do get, like, grey versions and winter versions and all these, and all these Batman sets. If you're into Batman, you'll know a lot of this. But he seems like a pretty standard Batman. I've never been too happy on this white strip here, which obviously you put in front and, you know, gives the white strip of the eyes. I guess it is kind of intelligent, you know, so that he can have a face and when he puts it on, it is still white. But, I don't know, I've just never been keen with it. Like, when you take off the helmet, it just, you know... This face, of course, looks a bit, well, dull. He's not really thinking much. Just sort of, that's Batman. He looks really cool like that, with a cape down that way. But yeah, very, very nice. There isn't really much to say here. He does have back printing, although he doesn't really need it because he's wearing a cape. But yeah, really, that is Batman. Very awesome minifigure, and as I've said in previous reviews, him and Benny are my two favorite characters. They are just so awesome. I mean, I'm so glad they included him in this set. We don't actually, we didn't get him in the mini sets. There is another set that's just come out with like Angry Kitty, where you get Batman, but actually not that many when it comes to Lego movies, which is kind of strange because he's such a main character. But uh, anyway, so that is Batman, one of the greatest minifigures, and I think it's now time to go on to another minifigure, the Green Ninja. Alright, so now we have the Green Ninja, which I believe is an exact copy from Ninjago, or, no, I think it is Ninjago. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me, I'm not very well known on these Ninjago, or, well, just any other Lego themes, really. I mean, it's, I'm just sorry, I just never really got into it, but I've got to say, this figure, my god, this is cool. You know, if Lego makes um, Ninjago minifigures this good, I might just get them off eBay or something, because they are really, really awesome. This thing is great. Uh, first of all, on the back he has this thing, which I believe you have seen before in many other ninjas and Ninjago people. Funny enough though, we only ever see the green ninja in the Lego movie. Don't know why they didn't feel the need to put any other ninjas, but whatever. You know, it's cool. You got his green swords rather than black or silver swords, you know. To give the impression that he's an awesome ninja. This piece, by the way, where you put his sword is attached to this shoulder plate thing. Notice, by the way, he's got handcuffs, the same as Johnny Thunder down there, because this is, of course, the police dropship where they imprison a lot of the people, including Wonder Woman, these two, and all that. So, yeah, taking his handcuffs stuff though, if I can. You can see there, pretty nice printing. Very nice, very nice, very detailed, actually. I'm actually pretty glad with this printing. Very detailed indeed. Of course, you have to appreciate I've never seen Ninjago or anything like that. Oops. So, yeah. Notice, by the way, his arms are actually a different shade, darker shade of green than his torso and his uh, thingy, hat, whatever you call this. I don't know. It's not really a helmet, but it's like kind of a hat thing. That's his face. Kind of standard. He doesn't have a two sided face, but of course, you don't really need it. I've got to say, though, this minifigure, damn, this guy's cool. I'm glad they included him. I hope to see Superman, Wonder Woman, these other minifigures and other Lego movie sets coming up. But yeah, we the back printing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And of course, as I said before, you get this chest plate, which is attached oops, to the shoulder pads. Very nice. That easy slips on. You put his head back on. And you put his hat back on, which, by the way, does have very nice printing on it. Try to move it up. Very cool. You can really see the detail in that silver there, you know. And it is meant to look like that. So anyway then, that is the Green Ninja, very cool minifigure, arguably one of the coolest in the set, along with Batman. Uh, but yeah, I think now let's just get on to the final hero of this set, and that is Johnny Thunder. Okay, so here we are with Johnny Thunder. I am going to be completely honest with you, please leave down in the comments. I have no idea who he is. I'm sorry, but he seems like a main character just because obviously he has a name. Generally you just get like Cowboy. So, he must be some sort of main character. I don't know whether he was in like some sort of cartoon years ago, or maybe he's just a character Lego made up years ago. But he's probably a main character in some way. I'm sure I've heard the name somewhere, but I'm really, really sorry about that. I do not know Johnny Thunder, so please leave it down in the comments if you do know. 
Going around, you see he's got pretty nice printing, no leg printing, just black legs. Funny enough, though, this is kind of strange. In the instructions, it's told to give him a gun while having handcuffs, so it's like they'd leave the gun with him <laughs> in the handcuffs, but whatever. Taking his handcuffs off for a second. We see there his printing. Pretty nice. I think it's a chicken leg in his in his uh, pocket there. But you know, so and you see his bandana around his neck. And this is I haven't seen this hat mold before, but I got a feeling it has been somewhere before. But this hat mold is kind of strange in the way that it's actually lopsided, you know, kind of give it a more um used look to it, I guess. Kind of nice hat there. Very cool, easily removable, of course. This really reminds me of one of the really old heads. That printing there, it looks it looks faded. Of course, I haven't done anything. I just got out of the box, but it really reminds me of one of the old heads. No back head printing. <laughs> wow, that is that is dang. That really takes me back. But yeah, standard gun. Um, but yeah, basically cool minifigure. I guess I'm glad we got him. I have no idea who he is, which I'm sure annoys quite a lot of you. But he's still pretty cool. I've never really had a cowboy from Indiana Jones. Uh, but yeah, I think it's basically then it. The minifigures, or sorry, the heroes rather. There are still four more Robocops to go. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go into those right now. All right, so here we are with a couple of Robo Swap people. Uh, you get four in this set. Two, you get basically two of each different head with different uh, armor and like on their chest and stuff. You can see here I've got both of the ones with this head. You see, like so, where they have the two eyes. Of course, the other one is the one with the one eye, which I'll show you in a second. So, But yeah, really, I mean, the printing on the torso and the legs are literally exactly the same in all four of them. The really only difference is the actual heads, and two of them have this uh, armor, and two of them have these goggles, while another one just has, like, a hat, helmet kind of thing. But yeah, looking at the printing then, on the torso, bear in mind this is exactly the same on both minifigures, in fact all the minifigures. You see like this, that's pretty nice, sort of police stuff. I do believe this is the same as we've got with all Robocops. See that side, we have the super secret police on the back of that um, body armour. And it's in the instructions to put this thing on the back. I've got to be honest, I have no idea what it's for. I have looked to see what it's for. On the box, it says it's meant to be used for the grappling hook, because there's a grappling hook inside the dropship, and it's meant to attach there. But that just seems kind of weird. I mean, okay then. First of all, how would you then attach these guys, you know? But even such, I'm, but there's probably a better way you could have attached them to the grappling hook, rather than having two of them have this thing on the back. It just looks kind of weird. Taking their head off, so you can look at the back printing. We just have the radio there. Very nice. And bear in mind again, it's exactly the same on the back of this one. Oops. Who could you please there? Very nice body armor, I've got to say though. It is really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. It is really cool. You know? Uh, yeah. Although we don't get it that much, this body armor. We only really see it in this set, I believe. I don't know if we see anywhere else. We might see it in like the super cycle chase thing, but if we don't, we really should because it's really cool. These goggles, however, they're really cool. They simply attach to the heads and they are pretty nice detailing. Again, you get them on these both. However, they don't have any like you know, you can't really pose them specifically. It really has two positions like it stays in this position or it flips down like that. So that's really. What there is to say, there's nothing more on that. Those are the only two positions of the goggles. But uh, yeah, that is basically it to a couple of Robocops. I've got to say, I'm really glad we've got four. This must be like the most Robocops we ever got in any set um, of the Lego movie. So yeah, you can make a battle pack out of these. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess we'll now just go on to the, the other two minifigures, which are basically the same, but the heads are slightly different. Alright, so here we are with the other two Robo Swap people. Now, as I told you before, the torsos and legs and everything are exactly the same, as well as this body armor is also exactly the same, and this piece on the back for the grappling hook. 
The only difference is the head and the helmet slash hat. On this one, we have sort of like a almost a jailbird kind of hat. This is the one where you get with like the jails section, the police sets where the um, criminals will wear them to sort of show they're a criminal. So that's kind of strange, kind of like a beanie hat. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. The faces, they're pretty pretty cool as well. I like the fact they give us two different faces for Ro um, Robocops rather than just a single one, you know. This one is exactly the same. The hat on this one's pretty basic as well. And this does go down. However, this suffers from the same problem all these hats have. Or the fact that's the maximum level that this visor can go down. It can't go down any further and it looks kind of weird. Because it's not really covering that much. It's still an angle. So generally you have it up like this. But even so, it looks kind of strange. But yeah, so these I think are our Robocops. They're extremely cool, I've got to say. I'm so glad we got these in the set. And yeah, really, I cannot wait to get more of these guys. Because I, I want to build like a real mini Robocop army. And you can actually, because we're getting so many of these guys in different sets. It's ridiculous. If we, if we got this many clones in sets, we'd be a lot more happy. But yeah, really, that's basically it to minifigures. Very, very, very cool. Um, eight minifigures, as I said. If we got this sort of level of minifigures and this amount in these kind of sets with Star Wars, oh my gosh, we'd be so happy. But even so, uh, so yeah, really, that's basically it. I think it's time we now go on to the main attraction, which is, of course, the dropship itself. Alright, so starting off, we have a brick set creator. Nothing really to say there. We've seen this many times before in these larger sets. Going on to the actual thing itself, this is cool, and really you can't hold it from basically anywhere I've actually found out. It doesn't have a handle, but because of just how it's strongly it's structured, you can more or less hold it from anywhere, apart from this cockpit piece because it's not held on very well. But anywhere else, and you will be able to hold it. Alright, so we're going to start at the back and move forward. So, one of the main things about this thing, one we actually saw in the film, is this ramp does move down like so. That's the level of how much it moves down. And this lifts up this prison cell, which you can put a person in. Let's put, I don't know, let's put Emmett. He's a bad guy. <laughs> Ugh. Well, okay, let's not put Emmett. Okay, um, and not, and in fact, you can actually pull it out, like, so. It doesn't slide in, it's, well, it does, but like, there isn't rails where you normally would have with this thing. It literally just slides in, and it's so snugly tight, that's what keeps it in, rather than having proper rails. But yeah, so you can see here, it, this is pretty cool. These aren't like actual uh, one piece. These ha are like window pieces, um, and these are red, like transparent pieces. So they are pretty cool and pretty rare. You can actually, by the way, see all the way through if you really want to. So yeah, and that slides in very simply, like so. Yeah, and by the way, you can just easily lift that up. Nothing really to say there. This, this up. Very simply, the detail on here is very nice, very basic, but still very nice. I'm happy we got this. Yeah, we get this thing on the side. Don't know what that's meant to do. Maybe it's a light or something. And each side we get these things. They don't move or anything. They're just they're stuck in place with, of course, the yellow, oh, sorry, yellow, uh, blue and the red here to symbolize police. And of course, the same up here. These are the flick fire missiles, or rather, sorry, um, spring loaded shooters. You get three in the set, they're red, because it's a bad guy set. We're not going to put them both, but you do get three of these, because you get two of them and obviously one spare. For those who don't know, you simply push it to the side in this case, and... Yeah. Bang. <laughs> they are pretty powerful, don't aim it in anyone's eyes, and you know the drill. But yeah, so, they're pretty cool. Looking up here, there's nothing really moves up here as such, it's just nice detailing. Pretty sturdy, actually. Pretty, pretty, pretty hard. Uh, we've got a radio radio dish here, very, very nice. They do technically move slightly, but, you know, generally you keep them in place. They don't spin round or anything like on Benny's spaceship, which is kind of unfortunate, but even so. So, they're kind of cool. Here, you see, we get, a cup, we get a gun and binoculars, as well as binoculars and a gun over there. You may have noticed that the guns, the Robo SWAT, didn't have any weapons, which is kind of strange, especially because they've got them on the box. Well, that is because uh, they are up here, and there's also two more inside, which I'll show you in a minute. All right, so on top, very similar to the clone turbo tank, actually, this reminds me of it. Uh, you have this rotating cannon type thing where you can see you've got space for minifigure, and that is a sticker, by the way. I don't think there are any printed pieces in this set, which are kind of unfortunate, but even so. 
Uh, these guns do move. They're kind of delicate in all honesty. But they do move and you know this moves and all that. So that's really cool. I've got to say I really love this gun. It is actually seriously cool. I, I didn't even know this was part of the set. You know, because yeah, I don't really notice it. You sort of, sort of don't see it on the box. It's kind of unnoticeable compared to the entire thing. But it is really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I've got to say I love this gun. It's a really, really simple design, but I, I, I love it really. Um, moving on. Moving on to the forward, uh, you've got again the same lights, by the way, they are reversed, so you have blue on the left, on this side, and then, yeah, but, uh, yeah, moving down, you see in front of you, you have two of these, one on each side, this one has two blue transparent studs, this one has two red, moving down you see here, isn't that just a cool view, that's just awesome. Uh, what else, what else, oh yeah, well, the guns, of course, they're exactly the same as other ball turrets, we've got on other, um, gunships or dropships, i.e. the Republic dropship, or, I don't know, Coruscant and Peace gunship, or stuff like this. Yeah, they actually are more free to move than most of those, so, yeah, but they do move like so, and they do look really, really cool. Of course, these are meant to be lights, but of course they don't do anything. This cockpit, actually, funny enough, there's a long time we've seen this, uh, it, you just comes off, like it doesn't bend down or up or anything like that. I, I don't particularly mind it, I guess. I mean, if I was going to use a stop motion, I guess I would rather it could bend down or something. And I did kind of expect it would before I made the set, but I don't mind that much, you know, even so. You see here, you've got space for two pilots, as with most dropships or gunships. It's a sticker as well. One pilot simply sits there very easily. I don't think you can get the piece of resistance like with Emmett in there. Of course, this is a bad guy set, so Emmett wouldn't really go in there, but even so. Down here, of course, you get another person. You've got the joysticks there, and that is a sticker, by the way. This thing is actually um, owned. This, by the way, is not held. It does not hold this piece in any way. This piece is only held by this up here, and I guess you could say these two there. But actually, this piece down here does not hold it, because you see it is completely flat there. And I was, <laughs> that stumped me for a while in the build. I was like, why isn't it attaching down there? But even so, um, I think that's basically it, apart from the main feature. Nothing really underneath, but of course, you see there. Oh, yeah, I haven't showed you the engines. The engines do move together. Uh, oops. Yeah. Okay. You see this knob behind here. These turn the engines. Oops. You've got to sort of hold it like this, though, when you're trying to move them, because the mechanism is underneath, so you can't actually hold it from properly underneath. If you turn it to the um, left, then they'll... Kind of like that, and yeah, these are stickers as well. By the way, they do move together, and you can actually see this mechanism working. Oh gosh, this is more difficult. <laughs> okay, ne never mind. You can basically guess the mechanism how it works, but uh, yeah, basically. And of course, when it's in landing mode, then it will simply go like this. When it's flying, it will go like that. Pretty cool stuff with battery. Uh, but yeah, I think it's basically it. I think let's now just get on to the main feature, which is of course the opening door, which is the main feature to any dropship or gunship. Um, There's a little light here, pretty cool. These are all stickers, by the way, as you see here. Nothing to really say. By the way, be a little careful when you're putting this sticker on, because of course you put it on before you put on this piece. And what may happen is you may, as you see here, cut it off slightly. I mean, it's not a major issue, of course, if you do. At the end of the day, you could probably just try to reapply it, but eh. So I'm just sort of pointing that out now. If you do want to make it really neat, probably put it more towards that side. If you're interested, but yeah. This simply lifts up like so. Very easy. I wish you can lift up the other side just so we can get more light. And as I said before, the other two guns are there and they are supported in those two hinges. There's not a ton of space. It, there's a fair amount of space, I guess. If you took this out, which by the way you don't actually need, it's not really used for support. Because the roof is held in by, you see, those white beams on either side. So you don't technically need that. I think that's more just for the actual weapons to hold them. By the way, there are two control panels there. If you can see them. Yeah. Uh, so I guess if you wanted to, you could take that out. There's no real need for it. Other than just to hold weapons. Maybe for more space. And you notice this. This is the grappling hook I was talking about. Oops. It is, it is really fragile, like seriously, it, you, you barely blow on it and it comes flying out. There's really no no pullback. 
Uh, and this is kind of a weird mechanism, because you can see here, this is actually the system that controls the winch. And it's really weird, because there's no system to stop it from going out. And it does go pretty far. See, that is, that is pretty damn far. That's probably, well no, not as long as the box, but that's pretty far. That's significant. Um, and you may be able to see, it can feed through that hole there. There is like the mechanism inside here. And it's weird, because of this, which by the way, this is just a normal attachment, there's nothing inside, it's just this bit. Um, it's easy to pull out, but you've got to lift this up if you want to put it back in. You like know, So if you don't, and you try to turn it, see, I'm actually trying. There's actually another system on the other side. This does exactly the same thing, it's just another knob. Right, try to pull it. It doesn't work because this thing is getting in the way, which is kind of strange. It's kind of strange how you can pull it out, but you can't put it back in without pulling this up. It's like, what's the point in that? That's just weird. But even so, you pull it up like so, and I assume you just lock it down. Uh, but yeah, but of course, it doesn't stop it from going out. So you can easily turn it and it'll go out, but come back in, it's like, I don't know. You'd think logic would be the other way around, but whatever. Uh, so it's another sticker, rescue. They fold down very easily, like so, and slot in place. Um, but yeah, really, that's basically it to the set. I've got to say, this is a really cool set. I do, of course, really enjoy it. I've said that many times, but it seriously, it is. I love this set. I've got to say, it's one of my favorite Lego movie sets, if not my second favorite, probably. You know, after Benny, because I'm not actually a hundred percent on the Sea Cow. I know a lot of people love it. If you're into the sort of pirate theme, then you'll love the Sea Cow. I'm not a hundred percent on it. Just because I'm not as much into pirates, but I can see why people would like it. But I've got to say, I love this set. And just a lot of the police sets, I love the design so much. And I will be getting more, actually. I've already got one that I need to review later, but even so. But yeah, really, that's basically it to the dropship. I've really enjoyed this review. I think it's now to get the instructions onto the box and then conclude this review. Because, dang, this is an awesome set. Alright, so we're getting two instruction manuals with this set, because it is a fairly large build, I mean, even though the price is about average, especially for a summer set, but even so, I don't know if this is with all of them, I mean, I did, by the way, buy this off eBay, I should probably point that out, I didn't buy this from the Lego store or any proper store, I bought this off eBay, but don't worry, it is completely mint condition, like, all the pieces were there and everything, and I got it for, like, £20 cheaper, so, yeah, but my, the instruction manual came bent, I mean, it wasn't opened or anything, but I'm just sort of saying, I assume this is them with every instruction manual, which is kind of weird, but that one didn't, so, I don't know what that's about, just heading straight to the back, when, etc., as I said in Benny Spaceship Review, you get this poster with every instruction manual, or at least all the ones where you have these sets at the bottom here. So that's kind of cool. I don't know why this one's there though, that seems like a kind of random set. I don't know why the ice cream truck isn't there either though, and the castle one. Because these are the three big sets, and you just sort of have this little one at the end, it's like, alright then. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the first instruction manual. This seems more paper, really, than this one, but I don't know. You have a lot of inventory. Lego Club, yada yada, Legoland, Legoland Park, Lego Discovery Center. Jeez, they, they talk a lot about the set, which is weird. They never talk about that set or that set, just the, the dump truck munching its way through the stuff. I've got to say, that is pretty cool. You know, you can pause the video and watch the comic or whatever, it's pretty cool. But yeah, the video game, of course, I want to play one day. I'll play that. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, actually, that's that's basically it. Oh, and by, oh, on the back, of course, you have DC Comics. And these are the sets that are already out. Flash there, great minifigure. I'm going to get it one day. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, that is basically it. The instruction manual, not really much to say. Pretty standard instruction manual, nothing I mean, special. Do You do get a fairly large size sticker sheet. Which that's something to expect with a set of this size, but just putting it out. Uh, and actually you do get a lot of pieces, extra pieces, but I've completely misplaced them somewhere. And actually, I do think you get an extra sword for this guy. So, yeah. But anyway, let's go on to the box and then conclude the review then. Alright, so moving on to the box. The box, again, is pretty standard. Nothing amazingly special here. You see the art with Johnny Thunder and Emmett. You got the Robocop and you got Batman throwing his Batarangs. You got the eight minifigures down here. Oh my gosh, I just wish all sets came with eight minifigures. And you can see here the grappling hook is meant to attach to the back of that guy. Um, that, just, that just sounds weird. 
By the way, the grappling gear is pretty weak, there's nothing really to say. I think you can probably guess from just how small the actual thing was. I'd much rather one of those proper ones where it's like a hook. I'd much rather that because actually attaching the thing means it a lot easier to break off, especially if you're living, um, lifting a heavier load. So, yeah. But I uh, see there, of course, because it's, it's European, there's another piece count in the box. Lord knows why. But uh, yeah, Lego movie. Pretty cool stuff. So you don't even notice the cannon up there, really. It's kind of funny. It just sort of blends in with the uh, with the radar dishes. So you don't even notice it. But, yeah, basically. Um, you notice there's a lot of like, comic strips here, mainly because, of course, it is the Lego movie. So, yeah. You have all the names up here. Emmett, Green Ninja, Johnny Thunder, Batman, Rubber Swat, Rubber Swat, Rubber Swat, Rubber Swat. Being one to the back of the box. Another comic strip. As I showed you, there's the flick. This can come out, and you put a guy in there. You can put a man up there. This does turn, and of course, you do have the guy who can hold on to the what do we call it? Oops. And again, on the back of the box, nothing really that special to show. Pretty standard stuff. The box itself, for some of the size, is pretty standard. It's pretty cool, I guess. I was saying that it did come with like six numbered bags, I believe. Or was it seven? I'm not sure whether that was this one or Benny Spaceship. And they were pick packed in fairly, you know, tightly, you know. They did have a lot of pieces, so, yeah. It really does take longer to build, you may think. Mainly because the string and some other bits that kind of pain to build. Not necessarily hard, just a pain. But anyway, so, I think I've talked long enough. I think it's now time, eventually, to conclude this review. Alright, so here we are, back then with the conclusion of my Super Secret Police Dropship Review, set number 70815. So, I think I've made this pretty clear by now, but this set is great. I just cannot even stress that. It's, it's so, so great. I tend to say that with a lot of my reviews, don't I? But I guess I'm just infatuated with Lego, so I don't know. Uh, the Benny Spaceship, the only thing that really has over this is just for the minifigures and just generally the look of the set. But this is, I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. It is truly epic. I'm going to say it's definitely the best police set, absolutely, um, out of the Lego movie. And I've got to be honest, the police sets really are my favourite. I mean, the Double Taker Couch and some other sets, they are kind of fun and pretty cool. But the police sets, dang, they're just, just awesome. So, uh, yeah, this and a couple other police sets reviews will be coming soon to my channel. So please do stay tuned to see that. But for now, this is the Super Secret Police Dropship reviewed by moi, Josh, or otherwise known as General J. Smith. If you like this review or found it helpful, please do give it a like down below. You still can buy this, by the way. Speaking of down below, down below you will find my build of this set. Please go watch that, and yeah. And of course, please leave down in the comments all that stuff. Please leave down in the comments if you know who Johnny Thunder is, because I would greatly be intrigued to know that. And of course, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful. There are so many reviews I've still got to do, including the entire Lego Star 2015 uh, winter line, and uh, even more uh, sets after that. So stay tuned, and I will see you in another review. Again, do pick up this set. The price of piece is excellent. The figures are excellent, and just everything about the set is excellent. I genuinely could not have asked for a better set from the secret, uh, Super Secret Police Dropship. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Stay awesome. Bye, troops.